You know, Hunter, that video that they were right there, you're talking, doing all those interviews, you were actually a participant in this mm -hmm. dream series at that time. Now you're in the big leagues. I want to take us back to Hunter Green, the youngster sitting there as we're seeing all these young men coming on. You have this dream of going where you're at. What were some of your thoughts then that you see actually happening now? Yeah, it's special to look back and see uh, this video of, you know, being a participant in the first Dream Series here at Tempe Diablo Stadium, uh, a beautiful complex uh, and some amazing coaches that Do are Do you here. remember anything they taught you, like Marvin Freeman, or you worked with a lot with LaTroy Hawkins, different guys? Do you remember any tips? Oh, there's a bunch. Uh, Trying to trying to think back, uh, I think a lot of it was being able to lock in on your target, um, taking a lot of pride in catch play, understanding uh, the the target that you need to see uh, before getting on the mound, and making sure that your your long toss, your preparation, and catch play leads right into your bullpen. So understanding how important that is. Uh, making sure that you're practicing good mechanics and good habits so right when you get on the mound for a bullpen uh, you're locked in and ready to go and you're not wasting any pitches and then those things that you were able to pick up here how do you feel like i mean you're the first person that we've talked to that's actually gone through the entire program and you've gained you know you have earned your spot in the big leagues being at every you know every five day starter how was this experience here help you prepare for being a big league player in so many ways, not just on the field, but off the field. And I think what's so important is, you know, I call it being a major league citizen, um, respecting the game, inspiring everybody that you meet, uh, hopefully in a positive way, but carrying yourself the right way, being a professional, understanding what's expected, uh, taking pride in, in your job and continuing to, to put your best foot forward and, best, and be the best that you can be. Uh, you know, like I said, a lot of great coaches here, um, a lot of a lot of knowledge a wealth of knowledge and uh, it's really special for these kids to be here at such a young age going from high school um, hopefully going into professional baseball or a great college uh, they have some really good mentors that are uh, hopefully stay in their life for a long time when you were here you were a shortstop and a pitcher you know so trying to figure out what you were going to end up doing and, I, and i'm curious when you're looking back, what were you learning as an infielder and presenting yourself and taking care of yourself? Because you had to do it on both sides of the ball. It was a challenge. Um, I, you know, I loved hitting. I still love taking ground balls. He still thinks uh, I you try to get. They all think they can hit. Yeah. You know <laughs> I tried that. to get Delano to hit me some ground balls last year in, in, in the infield, but uh, <laughs> the team wasn't having it. So, but I, you know, I still love trying to be athletic, be an athlete. You know, I say that pitchers are, are some of the best athletes. We were all shortstops at one point. Do you do you, uh, do you look life, at so. Shohei Otani and think, man, I, I, that could have been me? Oh, 100 percent can I mean, be. Yeah, well, because my thing is, like, if I kept hitting, you know, y'all are laughing. I'm serious over here. I'm not. <laughs> but, uh, if, you know, if I continue to, to keep hitting, work on, you know, that craft of hitting, just like everybody else, I would be great. You know, I really believe that. I saw that in high school. Obviously, I didn't go to college, but being a first rounder as a position player, as a hitter, as a shortstop, just like everybody else that continues to cultivate those skills, they'll be great. So... I have no doubt that I that got I that smile well. going. So I guess with that being said, how is that decision made? Because you do have a lot of players here. I mean, we yeah. just talked to Justin Hart. He's an infielder and a pitcher as well. At what point of your high school career is that decision made on when you get drafted, you're going to be doing this or that? Is that the team telling you what you're going to do? Or is that you making a decision that, hey, I feel like I shine more in this position? Yeah, I think it's different for, for everybody. Uh, for me, I think it was the fast track of being a pitcher, the velocity coming out of high school, um, the consistency that I had in my mechanics, my accuracy. I wasn't just a thrower. Um, I had, you know, not pinpoint accuracy, but I had command, you know? Yeah. So a lot of kids, they might throw hard, but they struggle with command, with, with accuracy. And, you know, you, you have to figure that out. But for me, I felt like I was uh, polished enough to, for them to make that decision. Like, hey, you're, you're gonna be a pitcher, we see you. Um, adding a lot of value to the team as a pitcher in the big leagues um, eventually. And, and I think that was a decision there. 
We're fighting over talking to you, man. <laughs> but we're not going to let you go because you're going to be here for another segment. But go ahead because I want I got a real good question. But I'm going to let no, you I go. No, I know you got a real good question. We can save it for the next segment. But we talked about on the field. Off the field, what I've always noticed with Hunter is that you're always doing something off the field. Giving back has always been really big for you. And I'm assuming that that has to stem from somewhere. And I know you and your mother. That was mother. hanging out with me when he was young. <laughs> no. Your mother, she has. His mom and dad hooked him up, man. They're great people. <laughs> Your mother, tell us a little bit. I want you to elaborate a little bit on Full Circle Consulting. This is something that you and your mother have going on to which it gives back and it really helps groom young players to be who they're going to become and reach their potential. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so this is her business, her uh, consulting system. So she is a, she's an educa educational consultant for child development, does a lot of leadership trainings, helps with leadership programs, uh, creates you know, and helps schools with their curriculum as well. Uh, travels the the world. She's been on the board of education for Jamaica, Vienna, uh, Vienna, Austria, um, China. Uh, uh, she's amazing. So uh, to to be with her and for that to be my mother that I can look to um, is is really special. You know, uh, my father as well. Uh, such a great uh, group group of uh, just great people. Um, people that I love, um, that are in my circle, that have always been there for me um, and continue to help me, uh, you know, s get to my dreams and uh, and work hard. So, you know, to, to have them in my corner, uh, for my mother to help me with my philanthropic uh, efforts and, and my endeavors as well is, is really important. So uh, she's helped a lot with this, being able to provide kids with cleats, with Nike cleats, with some of the best products. That was some of my uh, favorite moments and, and memories when I was a kid at this age was getting free gear. Uh, I'm sure for you guys as well when you know you That's had- still old, one of my favorite moments. Right, when you had older swag. guys that you know would give you the best of the best and make you feel special and uh, inspire you to, to do the same when you got in that position uh, to be able to give back. So uh, for me, it's always been important. I started at seven years old. I did a book drive for the Michael Hofflin Foundation and fell in love with that feeling. I was young, but I knew that it was important. And um, I made a promise to not just myself and my family that when I, when, when, when I got to that position to give back and to help others, that I would do it.